sexy, strong, and safe. This gem, without a doubt, the 2015 safety car. The Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. Traditional, much in demand in Canada. Deployment probability, over 50%. Canada is a very hazardous circuit, very narrow with often hardly any runoff zone, or perhaps just a couple of centimeters. And Canada also has a very odd track surface due to the fact that the winters there can be very, very cold. Therefore, the race always unfolds in a very unique way, and there are also lots of crashes and thus a lot of the safety car. For 16 years, behind the wheel at every race, without exception, Mr. Safety, Bernd Mylander. I'm the official safety car driver in Formula One since 2000, so it's a quite long time. Bernd Mylander is Schwabe. Bernd Mylander is German through and through, and that's also how he lives his life. He's reliable, careful, and always punctual. He's on duty an awful lot, and also has to practice an incredible amount too. Because one thing is clear, when he has to go out on the track, everything's got to go right, and that requires meticulous preparation. Whenever race control say, go, he dictates the pace. I'm in permanent communication with them. I have a safety car standby mode where I engage first gear and then just wait until I hear safety car deploy. And from that point, I drive out onto the track. If the leading car is behind me, I wait until it's at my back. It's a very normal procedure, which has now been the same for 16 years and is therefore extremely well honed. Up at the front, I naturally try to go as fast as possible, which for Formula One is very, very, very slow. Even with a beefed-up super sports car. It's a quite powerful car with a V8 engine, 4 litres. It's a front middle engine, twin turbo, so all offers what a real sports car needs. 510 horsepower, from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds. Top speed, 310 kilometres per hour. Last year, Bernd Mylander had to deploy 14 times, often ruining a driver's lead. Every safety car phase is naturally a concern for the team's strategy planners. The leader gets pegged back and the field closes up. It can even decide the race. Nevertheless, safety is the primary concern. Safety first, absolutely. The king is the coordination, getting the right instructions and keeping a clear picture of things in the rearview mirror. That, I'd say, is the greater, tougher challenge. In Canada, especially tough. In 2011, heavy rain and crashes in Montreal produced a safety car record. Legendarily slow. Race time of over four hours. Average speed, barely 75 kilometers per hour. The safety car led the race for 30 laps. An extraordinary race, I have to say, with exceptional safety car phases. I'll never forget it, as it's the longest race in Formula One history. And to be totally honest, I'd never before seen an F1 race where we had a coffee break and cake in race control, because it was suspended for so long. I led the race for precisely 46.9% of the way, and Jensen Button, I think, for under 3%. Always special, the Canadian Grand Prix. In 2014 in Montreal, every team crossed the line behind the then SLS AMG safety car. Bert Nylander, always ready for any emergency at this and every race. You will see me with this car on all the racetracks this year. <laughs>